someone left a comment under one of my videos and so I want to reply to him. His name was Tim Dang and he said, Throughout my journey on self-improvement, I know I can't date because of one reason. I'm five foot five. The worst part is I can't even date a girl shorter than me because they say they want a guy who's six foot. I've learned how to live without relationships, love, sex and intimacy and honestly I feel like I've been single for five decades of my life even though I'm still 19. That last bit's really interesting. He feels like he's been single for five decades even though he's 19. What he's saying is like he feels like he's been like very very lonely for a long time. You know the first thing that I would tell Tim would actually make him feel worse He's wrote here, I learned how to live without relationships, love, sex, and intimacy. I would tell him, that's not acceptable. I would remind him of how important relationships are for us. And that would make him feel worse because obviously it would make him aware that, okay, that's something he's lacking. But you do need a sense of like agitation and sort of negativity when you lack something in your life. Because that negative feeling is the thing that actually gives you the burning desire to improve. You shouldn't be at this point where you've like thrown your hands up and say, nope, I'm fine without relationships. You should have this other feeling which is more like, oh man, like I don't have relationships but I want them in my life. I want love in my life. So that actually fuels your actions to make some progress. I literally thought that I was like ugly because I was brown skinned. Up until I asked myself this question and it was common sense, I asked myself, are there brown skinned guys who pull? Are there brown skilled guys who can attract girls? And I was like, well, yeah, of course there is. Of course there's gotta be. So then it was never about brown skin being like the, you know, the limiting factor. It was more about me. And I would tell Tim the truth. No one's gonna lie to him. Of course, bro, if you're five foot five, of course that's a negative. Of course that's a disadvantage. Of course, looks, physical attractiveness, of course it matters. I like to ask myself this question. Is there someone like me who has what I want? So Tim would ask himself, is there a guy who is five foot five who still attracts women? Is there a single guy like that? Yes. So that shows it is possible. That shows that someone else has done it. If there is someone like you who has the thing that you want, it shows that it's possible. So why don't you fight to be like that? Why don't you fight to be the outlier? It's so easy to just give up and say, yep, you know, like, oh, I've learned to live without relationships. It's, you know, it's too hard. It, like, it's not going to work for me because I'm at a disadvantage. But being at a disadvantage does not mean that it's impossible. And in fact, it kind of makes your journey more beautiful. We all look up to those special journeys of like the underdog who really achieved in the end. Of the businessman like Walt Disney or the guy from Pizza Hut or fucking Ronald McDonald or some shit. You know, like those successful businessmen. You always hear those stories where like they got rejected by like 50 people first and then they business got successful after that we root for those guys their story is better because they didn't have it easy your story is better because you didn't have it easy and so for tim it would be so easy for us to feel like negative and depressed about this but like is that going to help you is that going to make you feel is it is it going to serve you in any way possible to have a defeatist negative depressed hopeless mindset is there any value in that no there is not is there value in thinking more positively and thinking, you know what, okay, this is like a fucking bottleneck. God had to nerf me so that now I'm stuck at five foot five. But that means that I have so much more motivation to like level other things up that a lot of guys aren't even thinking about. If you're shorter, you have some kind of disadvantage, which is like genetics and you have no control over it. You should have some kind of positive or optimistic outlook where you say, you know what, okay, I can't change this. What can I do that would make progress? Surely there is something that would make me go from here to here. And if I did 10 of those things, I'd be way up here. Okay, I'm never going to be six foot. But because I'm five foot five, bro, I'm going to make sure that I'm making some good ass money. Because I'm five foot five, I'm going to make sure that I build a good business. Because I'm five foot five, I'm going to make sure my style is on point. If you see the disadvantages, if you see the bottleneck, if you see the genetic thing that you can't change, and you just ask yourself that question, well, what can I progress on? There, masculinity increased. Now you're focusing on the next mission. You're focusing on the mission that can be achieved. Scroll down right now and click on the subscribe button underneath this video. Do the hard work, especially when you don't feel like it. Mwah.